Supporters of the former president of Georgia, Mikhail Saakashvili, have freed him from police custody in the Ukrainian capital, Kiev. Saakashvili had earlier threatened to throw himself off the roof of a residential building in which he lives after police arrived to search his apartment. But his supporters managed to release him from a security vehicle during a protest against his arrest. Here's the moment that Saakashvili was removed from the roof by security service officers. A few days ago, his political movement held a major rally in Kiev demanding the impeachment of Ukraine's President Poroshenko. RT correspondent Medina Kotinova has been following events. The Georgian politician made quite a scene this Tuesday morning in the center of the Ukrainian capital. Now, Mikhail Saakashvili was arrested over charges of assisting criminals and concealing their criminal activities. And before that happened, the politician confined himself to the roof of the building, reportedly threatening to jump off a roof in protest. Law enforcement officials broke the door of his his apartment and searched the flat for evidence. Of course, such a move attracted hundreds of his supporters that gathered outside of the building. And Mikhail Saakashvili was seen shouting to the crowds while emergency services were arriving to the scene carrying a ladder and all that was even transmitted live on Ukrainian TV. Now, police used tear gas against the protesters. Really interesting facts are taking place in Ukraine these days when former best friend of the current president is really embroiled in the country's politics. Mikhail Saakashvili is known for his quite a turbulent political career. He was a Georgian president for nine years till 2013. Back in 2008, he was practically on the verge of a nervous breakdown when he was filmed for the BBC News report chewing his own tie. He left his native country of Georgia. He was charged with corruption and abuse of power as well as other multiple criminal charges. In 2015, Saakashvili gave up his Georgian citizenship as he accepted an offer to become the governor of the Odessa region. Well, that didn't last for long and he resigned back in November 2016 and the following year the uh, president of Ukraine, Petro Poroshenko, personally removed his citizenship. Well, that happened when Mikhail Saakashvili was not in Ukraine. So he tried to get back to the country and he tried to cross the border this September. And his supporters practically carried him across the police line at the Polish border. So while Mikhail Saakashvili is appealing this decision in court right now, he remains to be a politician with no valid citizenship. Well, with all that in mind, I got the thoughts earlier of Martin McCauley. He's a Russia analyst and historian, and he believes it's difficult to take Saakashvili seriously, given his political legacy. Mr. Saakashvili, Mikhail Saakashvili, is like a comedian. He changes every day. He changes his opinions and so on. And his uh, political career has been absolutely astonishing um, because uh, under the communists in, in Georgia, he came to the top as a Democrat and somebody opposing communism and corruption and so on. He then became president uh, and he was the darling of the West and the Americans uh, thought that he was a great guy. Uh, and Georgia, they were talking about Georgia becoming a member of NATO and so on. Uh, and then came his very foolish attack uh, in 2008 and the war with Russia, which was really his uh, nemesis. Uh, the, the, the Americans warned him not to do it, uh, but he went ahead. He's very headstrong, which means that he takes his own opinion, he takes his own counsel and so on. Uh, and then uh, he uh, played his card badly and uh, he was then uh, forced to leave Georgia and sacked as, as president, moved into Ukraine.